Uh, all right, this was a bad week. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade, right? It was pretty junky. So uh, what I like to do is just to kind of recalibrate. Let's just uh, get out there and just start to imagine what could be. I mean, we all got into this space for a specific reason, right? Um, whether that was for the technology or to make a profit or whatever else, this is a great article which allows us just to sit back and dream about what could be. And I do like these ones, especially on a really crappy week. So this was an article uh, talked about uh, analyst plan B and his stock to flow ratio model. And he talks about how Bitcoin could hit 864,000. Now, do I think that Bitcoin will hit 864,000? Who knows? I could also go to zero, which is like the most commonplace thing that everybody says. Well, go to zero or go to a million, which in my opinion is stupid. I always just say that because it's just the, the thing to say. But in all honesty, it's not going to zero. That's dumb. Bitcoin's not going to go to zero. Okay, it's, it's just not going to happen. It's already, as Mike Novogratz has said, it's already crossed the Rubicon. It's already been here uh, plus a decade. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody wants to get into it. Not everybody. A lot of a lot of the smart money does at least. So I don't think it's going to go to zero. Will it go to eight hundred sixty-four thousand? I don't think that's that's right either, but um, I see somewhere in the hundred to two hundred thousand range. That's just how I see it. Now, do I know when it's going to happen? Obviously not. But uh, when you take a look at this article about what could be, I think there's some conservative numbers uh, that we can all take solace in. So let's just break right into it. Plan B says Bitcoin could eclipse the prediction of his controversial stock to flow model ratio, which rise to 864,000 in four years. So I think it's gonna be like 20 years. That's what some people say. Like in 20 years, it would be a million dollars. I'm like, well, I don't care about, I mean, I'm here for the long haul, honestly, but it takes 20 years to get a million. I'm probably gonna sell some, but uh, sure. So where does he get these numbers? Well, first he talks about, he made a conservative bet that Bitcoin will hit 288,000. Now I think, Within a year to two, it's going to hit a hundred, and then I think in like four, it could hit two hundred thousand. So two hundred eighty thousand, I can definitely see that. That makes total sense. So he states, I'm on a two hundred eighty thousand as an average value. Hundred K would be nice, but if you just follow the math or the data, I don't mean the time series model. What we're looking at, Bitcoin only, we're looking at gold, silver, diamonds, real estate, all that stuff. It's two hundred eighty thousand. That's just an average value. For them, this is the unknown. He says it could overshoot like three times, like it did in the last phases. I don't want to mention the number. I try to be conservative, but let's just say 2x or 3x from 288, and then it crashes again, of course. So what he's saying is, so you could go 288 times three. So you're looking at that nice lofty number of 864,000. And again, I don't think it's going to hit that, but I mean, what if it could? I did a video a bit ago and it talked about it was a message from 2012 and it featured Roger Veer and he talked about how uh, Bitcoin was going to you know shoot up to like a thousand dollars and everybody's like that's crazy that's stupid what's it? and then of course now we look at a thousand like can you imagine if bitcoin dropped to a thousand that's crazy everything's crazy until it actually happens right it's like trying to break that 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 mile barrier when roger bannister did it and he broke it for the for the four minute time mark nobody thought it could be done until it got done and now here we are so i see it as coming to fruition in couple of years to pass, right? 100,000, 150,000. And when we look back at these days at 10,000, uh, just like when we looked at that video back in 20, uh, the one from 2012, I was just blown away. I'm like, wow, they were just, that was the vision out there. And these are people like who has way more vision than me because I would never have thought about this. Like, I mean, I remember my son came back, came home in 2012 and he said, Hey, someone just uh, is going to offer me 500 bitcoins for $500 on a hard drive. And I was like, well, What's a bitcoin? And he told me, I go, That is stupid. No one's going to do that. That's nerd money. Get out of here, kid. And, uh, you know, now here we are and I have my own channel talking about cryptocurrency digital assets. So again, it's about vision. So these things like they seem far off and people, I mean, in the comment section is the comment section and there people will probably say it, but just kind of sit back and think to yourself, well, what if, what if that could actually happen? Because it could, I mean, it really could. I mean, look at what's happened in the past. So it's a good thing to think about as to why we got into this space. Uh, remember, a thousand dollar bitcoin not too long ago was hearsay or heresy five thousand dollar bitcoin was incomprehensible ten thousand bitcoin i remember when ten thousand hit uh, in 2017 and they were talking about the winklevoss now being billionaires and people were like that'll never last that's that's crazy and now here we are going oh my god it flipped over ten thousand so who knows what could happen i just take i like to take a look at these and see what if so let me just think about that in the comment section let's move on